Welcome to the channel guys. I am Zach with Blades LLC. For those of you who do not know, we do lawn and landscaping work here in central Minnesota. And uh, we got a special one for you guys. So we have a Toro grandstand stand over here and I'm about to try something that uh, I haven't tried in a very, very, very long time. In fact, it's been so long I don't really even remember how well it works. But we've been having a lot of requests for. Drop it in the comments down below. What is it? Mulch kit. We're going to throw it on. So we picked up a Toro uh, mulch kit. For those of you that don't know what a mulch kit is, it's individual baffling system for the deck. This is not a mulch kit. This is a shoot blocker. Uh, it does not do the same thing as a mulching kit. Uh, I'll pull the mulching kit out of the box here in a second, but what we're going to do is I'm going to have Jaden, now that we've safely secured the grandstand up on the jack, we're going to end up having to do a lot of that. So he's going to pull off the regular blades to start, and then these are our mulching blades. And uh, I've ran these in the past without um, the, sh the mulching kit, and it still does a fairly decent job. In fact, you can use this with this and get some whatever result, but it's just not the same. This just sucks the, the leaves up into their own baffle, holds them in there, and grinds them up, and they fall into the grass. So we're going to get to work here. All right, so this is what it came with. Came with no directions. Package of bolts. This is the plate that goes on the outside there. And then these are the baffles. Baffles right here. Cool beans. Cool beans, right? Alright. I don't know if we're gonna wanna um, wash that deck too or what. I don't know how. It's still. It's still probably pretty caked. I, yeah. I just don't want it to be like dripping on us. I got the bulk of it on. Dripping grass juice is all over the place. I feel so nice with it. Huh? I feel so nice with it. It can taste even better. Mm -hmm. You drinking it? No. You go nuts being at home all the time now, don't you, hon? <laughs> she didn't hear me. She's fed up. <laughs> fed up with it. I can't take it anymore. So massive disclaimer here. We're not professionals. We're gonna walk you through this. Watch this video till the end because we might learn things along the way, like this trick right here. Like the last time we tried to do something. See that mower back there? <laughs> She's standing up. So this is huge. So we just have it rested. I put some wheel chocks under it, but it seems pretty sturdy there. So we'll just be cautious and uh, yeah, stand it up. That's what the directions said, so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, it doesn't say what the what size Watch they till are. The end. Okay, yeah, so so I think this one has to come out right here. 
pretty sure these ones have to come out too. I would assume. I'm not 100% sure yet though. Oh no! <laughs> losing paint. We're losing paint. All right, so if you come up over here, this square piece is more of a rectangle. That's gonna go on your far left side if you're looking at the mower this way. And then if you come up here and look here, side that comes in straight and then angles back in towards the middle, that's gonna be your middle piece. That's gonna go on last. It has to be bolted in here and here on both sides. Yep, we found it easier to do the ends first. Yep. And then put the center piece in there and it kind of just rests in there that way and uh a couple things too we didn't we didn't know there's two longer uh carriage bolts yep and i have no idea if that's where they go or not it doesn't really look like it but <laughs> it didn't really say where to put them so. i didn't i didn't see we yeah. tried our best i don't know i'm sure it'll work still shouldn't interfere and then smaller of all of the pieces here goes on your far right side right yeah so, it doesn't show that very well in the diagram. We kind of had to figure it out on our own. But that's it. And then uh, the top bolts here. So there's one right here. And it's kind of a, it's a standard head. It's not the carriage bolt. So that one goes in there. You tap that puppy on. Where did then, we put the uh, other standard one? Wasn't there? Uh, yes, there's one right here. And you kind of got to lean in. Take a crescent wrench or uh, get the right size and just hit it there. And then, you know, hold this one. There, I don't know, ours was threaded, I think. Yeah. So we had to. That, I think they, they say to drill that one. Right? It, did they? Is, is, is it I, I don't know. I, I don't really want to do any drilling if we don't have to. I'm sure it's going to be sturdy enough the way that well, it is. That thing's not coming apart. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I'm sure. I'm sure too, you know, these, it looks like there's a lot of missing stuff, but there really isn't. Uh, there's, uh, I think what these are made to do is go into other machines too. So I'm sure the brackets are, you know, set for, yeah, correct. So I don't know if we did this right or not, but I wanted to make something to at least show, you know, what it's. There's it, no hardware, no other hardware to go in these either. So I, no, think, we, I think you're right. Uh, yeah. about it just being uh, yeah. um we do need to return 
so out of the bag, the hardware bag. I think this has to get this has to get put back on. There's one right there. Yep. Um, and then I, we probably just want to put these ones back in to plug the holes. All right. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to pop on the uh, mulching blades. Some people call them gator blades. I think gator's probably just a brand, but anywho, that's where we're at with things. Seems like it's all right. And uh, we're going to rock and roll with it. So just, just set them aside. shoot blocker off here all right so now there's one very important thing that I wanted to mention real quick is we had the mower tipped back uh, that means that the oil is no longer where it needs to be so we need to let it sit here for a few minutes before we run it so all the oil drains back into the bottom of the pan otherwise uh, you could end up blowing your motor so yeah Yep, very important to let it sit here, but we gotta let it sit here because we gotta take the shoot blocker off. design of this this makes life a lot easier oh my goodness you might need a deep well for those ones look what found a max shack oh, cup nice. in there heck yeah and the hydro fans where else would it be right not the trash i don't know where that came from all right so we gotta take these off I'm not sure what that is if i had to guess uh mike's came from Mike's. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. Right here. Yep. So I just pop that off real quick. Like this. Uh-oh. I might actually need you to hold the... Oh, they could they could see in the video where you were yep. already. Yep. One more very important thing. Let me put this down so there's no pressure on it. Pressure out of it. I hate how people drive behind me so they do like, what are you?
There is no mountain that stands tall as your faithfulness. There is no